Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and I've got another delicious and amazing keto recipe for you. Perfect. Today I'm making bread with the low carb keto bread mix and then parlaying that into one of my favorite dishes of all time, a basic grilled cheese. As always, I'll do my best to add all information about the ingredients used during the video, but everything is always listed in the description box below. So to get started, I add 1 8 of a cup melted Kerrygold butter to my bowl, followed by 1 cup of warm water, 1 and a half teaspoons of honey, Then go ahead and add the entire bread mix packet to the bowl, along with two eggs, I began to stir with a spatula to combine, but we will have to start kneading in a little bit and for about 15 minutes. Okay, so keep going ahead and kneading the dough until it looks like a real dough. And then we're gonna wanna form it into a loaf and then let it sit for at least six hours. I let mine sit overnight. I lined a pan with parchment paper and then vacuum sealed it, but didn't like tightly seal it, just to close it, just so it's protected, to let it rise as much as it could. And then I baked it the next day. Once doubled in size the next morning, I baked the bread at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Now here's the vital Keto Diva tip. I checked the 20 minutes and it was already this brown. So I would say make sure your rack is in the middle. Check maybe at 17 minutes or it might get more brown than intended to, but it didn't matter. It was delicious. But for it to look like it looks in the box or the package rather, keep checking it. And you know, some of our ovens run hotter than others. Overall, I consider this bread a success because not only do I love it, but my son, who is very picky about his bread, loves it. So that's a huge endorsement. <laughs> so just like the true test for stevia is having it in coffee, the true test for bread is eating it alone or making a grilled cheese sandwich. This is one of my favorite childhood meals. I wanted to see if it would work and it was amazing. I heard from a chef that you should put mayonnaise along the rim, the perimeter of the bread because it has a higher smoking point. So I put butter in the middle and also added mayo and then topped it with American cheese and it was fantastic. Everybody ate some. I probably had two servings. I don't know if I should admit it, but I did. It was amazing. You're gonna love it. I'm making this grilled cheese during quarantine at 7 p.m. in New York City, so baby, listen to how sounds outside. I love to hear it. All the celebration for all the medical workers who are risking their lives and the lives of their families to keep us all safe. We appreciate you all. I am so impressed with this bread mix. I know I can make my own from scratch. That's not the point. They also have a biscuit mix that I want to try. I'm just so excited because we need easy options right now sometimes. And I hope you guys enjoy everything here. And this helps you 
and I've got it online so you can get the link below in the description box. I'll put it there for you guys. I hope this is helpful. And until next time, my divas, stay safe and be well. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.